Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we'll be talking about the role of planet Saturn as Yoga Karika. So let's begin. Saturn is a natural malefic planet and no matter whatsoever house rules, it has its own share of challenges and trials. But it does promise extra privilege and auspiciousness to the ascendants which are ruled by its friend Venus, which means Taurus and Libra ascendant because here in both cases Saturn acts as a yoga karaka. But what is a yoga karaka? Well, it's a planet which simultaneously rules the Kendra and the Trikona house both, which means a quadrant and trine. The great sage Prashara said, this planet which acts as a yoga karaka has the ability to give you the effects of Raja Yoga, which means yoga karaka will be the success giving planet. It would provide respect, honor, success, upliftment, and achievements. Saturn being a natural malefic planet whenever rules the Kendra houses that is 1, 4, 7, 10 it does give some malefic effects. But whenever along with the Kendra house it also rules the trines which means the fifth and the ninth house its way of action gets altered and it will give more auspicious results it will provide more upliftment and success in your life and if Saturn is placed in the Kendra houses or in the trines this intensity of your success will further expand the intensity of how yoga karika Saturn will give you success depends upon few factors number one where your natal Saturn is placed if it's in the Kendra houses or the Trikona houses it will just magnify your success which means Saturn will give more success if it's in the 1st, 4th, 7th, 10th, 5th and 9th house. Secondly, you have to see the sign placement and the nakshatra placement of planet Saturn. Also, which planet is the dispositor of Saturn and where it is placed. Number three, whether Saturn is in conjunction with other planets or it is getting an aspect from other planets. Number four, you have to see the strength of Saturn. There are different parameters to understand the strength of a particular planet. So yes, it's a very important step. But why this malefic planet is bringing auspiciousness for the Venus ruled ascendants? It's because it is giving you the gift of ambition, perseverance, determination, patience, and most importantly, amazing professional skills. So now let's talk about Taurus and Libra Ascendant separately and let's understand what kind of success and blessings will Saturn provide to these two Ascendants. So let's begin. For Taurus Ascendant, Saturn rules the 9th and the 10th house. So here Venus is ruling over the 1st house. It's enhancing your ability to attain better finances and resources in life. But it's acting as a functional malefic because it is ruling the sixth house. It would give some obstacles in professional journey, especially attaining harmony and blending with others at the workplace is affected. But Saturn rules the ninth house of opportunities, wisdom, higher learning, knowledge, and most importantly, luck. Luck is something which depends upon past life actions. So here, with Saturn ruling the house of luck, either it will give good opportunities as a part of past life merit, or simply it makes a person a non-believer in luck. One would rather focus on his own ability, like I am the master of my own destiny. And secondly, Saturn rules the 10th house of actions, profession, social status, respect and authority. So here again, Saturn gives the ability to stay determined about your goals 
and most importantly it enhances your potential to take big responsibilities with great ease you are indeed blessed with amazing power that's why saturn gives good success for taurus ascendants for libra ascendant saturn rules the 4th and the 5th house here venus being the 1st and the 8th house ruler is acting as a neutral planet being the first lord it is blessing one with high social and magnetic personality the diplomatic nature of a person will provide a great help in balancing the professional life but even if venus is acting as a neutral its lordship with the 8th house would lead to some fluctuations in all aspects of life especially sometimes you may not achieve what you truly deserve it could lead to stagnation but here saturn rules the 4th house of home mother security roots mind and material possession as well for libra ascendant apart from saturn's ability to give material possessions there is a curse here which will act as a blessing in disguise there will be a constant sense of insecurity which would continuously push you to achieve more and more success you will be always much forward than other people then saturn rules the 5th house as well it is the house of skills intelligence innovation and learning it is the house which has the power to give you celebrity like status again saturn ruling this house will provide you an edge over others because it will just refine your skills your practice dedication and constant modification of skills is a boon given by planet saturn plus there is an outstanding intelligence which would enhance your future planning further people will give respect to your talent and potential so this is how saturn works for libra ascendant So guys that's all for today's video and if you really want more such videos on astrology do subscribe to my channel till then goodbye take care of yourselves